Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kilian and welcome to this week's video. This was not what I had planned, okay? But I am so, so busy. I know you hear this from me every year, but I'm so, so busy. I've not had time for regular content. And to be honest, the next three weeks or so, it might still be a bit samey, samey to this. Apologies, but it's all I can sort of give you. Mainly because, I don't know if you can see these beside me. These are my new products for Nurture System. Now they're not officially out. Well, they are officially out, right, right. They are officially out. They are on Amazon, most of them, I think except from three and four. And they're also available on the Nurture System website, which is linked below, okay? But I haven't officially launched them yet. So what I'm saying is you will get a video launching them. I am literally waiting for my last product to launch, which is number seven. You will notice a number six is missing. That is reserved for another liquid product that we are in the works on, but I'm waiting on number seven. I'm waiting on number seven. I don't want to do my launch video till then. So that's the only reason that these products are here, but you haven't heard me full on talk about them yet, but they are here and they can be found. If you want to buy them ahead of time, that's absolutely fine. Basically, I send them all off to Amazon and they just went straight into stock. So I guess now they're selling. I know some of you have bought them already. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Hopefully you like them. Um, not only that, I have new merch. Can I show you? Hang on. Let me remove myself from where I'm situated. Can you see this? I'm going to have to lift it. This, sorry for the microphone malfunction. This is my new Long Boys merch. It features Un Snake because obviously love that. I don't know if you know this, I actually have snake charms in. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up one more time to show you these because they're so cute. Look, 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 look. Can you see these? Look how cute they is. They're so cute. So I have a bit of a thing for snakes, so we've gone for that. We've gone for like a, how do you call it, like 90s rock band feel again, very similar to the first long boy vibe, I guess. So this is also up now on Teespring. You can get that literally wherever you are in the world, I do believe. The link for that is in the description. It should just say merchandise and it's under there. Not only that, guys, but if you like any of my older designs, but you didn't like, for example, the colors, I've released black and white versions of those designs. So the original long boys and the mysterious dark boy and this one all have black and white designs as well. They're available in t-shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies for now. Obviously, if you've got any more requests, put them down below. And if there are enough people, I will release that kind of thing, like a tank top or whatever. But anyway, I think that's all my updates. So products are there. If you want them, you can. If you want to wait for the launch video, that's absolutely fine. It won't be long. I don't think so. Three weeks, absolutely maximum. Literally, we're waiting on a shipping notification. We're waiting on a shipping notification. So... I need to take a breath because I think I said most of that without even breathing. It is 6 p.m. This is very unusual for me to film at this time, guys. I normally film at like lunchtime, but at 6 p.m. I've had a very long day. I've actually had to go home, put makeup on and come back to film what feels like at night. It's very odd. But anyway, so I've, I've sort of monsterified the setup today. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. I mean, maybe I'm going to report this. I think I'll explain the plan in a second. Report this. I have already reported this. You should recognize this. This here, if you want to know what this is, is it even in the frame? It should be a little bit. Apologies if it's not. This here is Monstera Mint. Mint Monstera. This here is Monstera White Monster. A little bit different. And this here in the middle is Thai Constellation that we're reporting today. Now, and it's off to the side of me because if I do this, you can't see me, which I know some of you will prefer. So my plan today, this is from my house. I posted this on my Instagram literally as I'm recording this yesterday. It's doing beautifully. Now, I want to repot it and I want to put it on a pole. There you are. But I know they don't really pull, okay? If any of you don't know, Thai Constellation is a large form monster, and I know they don't like poles. I know it, guys. I know it. I always say this. Look, a pole can sort of help, but it sort of doesn't work. I completely get that. But I don't want him to grow hickledy pickledy. So I have a plan. It's a ship plan. Ship plan. Ship plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these. I've used one of these before, and I loved it. This is a moss pole from, I guess, from a company called Dust Pro. Um, it's just one that we have in the UK. I will link that down below if I haven't shouted me i'll come back and put the link in but it's basically a moss pole okay but the best thing is it's pvc pipe inside and you can just extend them now i know what you're thinking you're probably thinking wow this is very very thin for a tie i know i know i know but i'm thinking i'm gonna put this on and once it leaves this base it's done this is a terrible plan this this is really this is a bad plan bad plan but that is my plan i'm going to just give it enough to start it off and it shouldn't be annoying it should be well hidden by the time it leaves this it should have enough 
stability in the base of the plant to keep on going. If not, I guess I could add this and just keep a thin pole. A lot of people have told me to use like a plank of wood. I don't have a plank of wood, really sorry. It's not that I don't want to listen to you, it's that I don't have a plank. So I don't know, That that's kind of my plan. I just have an overwhelming feeling like I should put him on a pole. I don't know. We're going to replace the pond in here. This is actually the chooser pond, it's not my pond. My pond is in this one I actually potted with my pond last week. Um, can I actually show you the difference? Hang on. This is unprepared. Let me just scoop some pond off the top of this. Granted, it's used pond, so it's a bit discolored, okay? Okay, unofficial as hell, unofficial as hell. This is Lechuza pond. See that there? This, you see that? That's my pond. Main difference, same ingredients, slightly different ratios, and obviously my sizing is much bigger. I personally have always found pond to be just a little bit small for a lot of aroids. Like, it's great for most plants, don't get me wrong. And if you've got a really dry house, then it's it's fine. But I want something coarser. So I've made this pond. That is the pond you see there. That is the pond I'm selling. So just so you know the difference, that is basically the difference. Again, very unofficial because I've not officially spoken on it yet. <laughs> But you know what? I am using it, so it's kind of like, well, I feel the need to say something because I'm using it, if that makes sense. So anyway, we're going to get that out of there. We're going to do all of that. I've got a bigger pot because I suspect it needs it. If it doesn't, I won't, but I can't see why it wouldn't need it. It's done very, very well. And what I'm actually thinking of doing, bonus, is this beautiful... Can you see him? Yeah, this beautiful white monster here. If I pick him up and show you him from the side, I'm thinking about putting him in this pot, basically. So I'm doing a bit of a switcheroo. That's kind of the vibe, that's kind of the plan. So that's what I'm going to do today. I don't really have anything specific to talk about because it's not really that kind of video. This is literally just me repotting. So if you don't like the videos where I talk about things that aren't plants, maybe this one is for you. <laughs> I know there's always someone that complains. Right, so let me just make this setup just a bit uglier because I feel like this is too aesthetic and you know what we're like on this channel. Aesthetics is... It, it, we, we want it to work, but it, it doesn't work, does it? So... Right, I'm going to have to take this out because it's sat in it's sat in my feed actually, and annoyingly I just fed it yesterday. Oh cool, it's out the bottom. Oh we love that. Not. Why don't we love it, kids? I hear you cry. We don't love that, guys, because I can't cut these pots. The amount of comments I get, the the sheer the sheer amount of comments I get saying just cut the pot, cut the pot, cut the pot. These you literally can't cut them. If I were to cut that, how much are the inserts? Like fifteen pounds or something stupid like that. I would lose a lot of money by cutting them. I don't even think I could cut them. Like I couldn't. I could not get through this with a pair of these. It's not going to happen. I'd have to smash it with a hammer. So we're not going to do that. If we lose root, we lose root. There's there's not not a ton I can do about it. So first things first, we're going to get this out as gently as possible. I've waited till today to do this because this new leaf has just hardened off and it's looking great. So let's get my gloves on. Let's get my gloves on. And then we will see how well this goes because I'm not so sure. Tell you what, one thing I will tell you, and it's not related to plants. I, I might have screwed up my hair a little bit, guys. So... I put some toner on my hair because I felt it was just a bit too golden and the top was a bit lighter than the bottom and whatever else. And I have never in my life had an issue with this toner. I've used it with the same developer for years. It's not been a problem. Now, I don't know if it's just because I was mainly watching the fake hair on the ends to get it to tone and I, I completely forgot that it's not the same texture as my hair. It's, you know, that the composition of it's completely different. But my hair's gone white purple on the top. Love that. And this is sort of toned out, sort of how I wanted it. But in all my time of using this toner, it's never even gone purple. I don't even think it's that purple a toner. I think, what what toner is it? It's, I say toner, I mean the, the colour. It's Weller Colliston Rich Naturals in 916, and it's used with a pastel developer, so it's only like it's like 1.9% or something stupid. It's like barely any developer. Um, barely any developer, barely any strength, if you know what I mean. Barely any lift. It does lift a little bit, but it doesn't usually go purple. So it's fine. My plan is to wash it a bit. Let this come out. Maybe I might retone this to see if I can just get it a little bit cooler because I, I'm not concerned about that and see if I can even it out. But it's not ideal, guys. It's not ideal. Anyway, enough rambling. i am somehow got to get this out. Now, again, just to break the aesthetics for you, I have a bouquet. And I think the first thing to do is to try and get as much of the pawn out as I can without hurting my baby. I really like him. He's done really well in my house as well. I'm going to be quiet while I do this because it's going to be loud. Oh, no. There's roots just sat there. Oh, shit. Oh, I really thought this would be easy. 
guys, this root's just like practically at the surface. It's actually quite um, pot bound, which is a shame because I know it's going to grow better like this. I, I do realize that it's probably had a bit of time to go yet, but we're doing it today. And I want to be on it like a car bonnet, as we say in the UK. I'm trying not to hurt any of the leaves. I just want to pour as much out as I can and see if it gets loose. It's not loose. This could be, this actually could be quite bad. Gently massage. Because for once I actually do care about the roots. Maybe because it's in my house and I just feel a bit different about it. It's not like it's propagation and it can just grow back. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. This is actually quite difficult. Won't lie. Oh, hang on. Yep. 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 Got a bit of give. Oh my God. Now the problem is it's grown through the bottom and I, I think we are going to lose it guys. You, you know the tea. If you've used these pots before, you know the tea. Let me just find a nice place to grab this because there really isn't a nice place to grab it. Oh man. Right. That's a shame. We have lost this big bad boy here. I'll put him up front and then a couple of other bad boys there. But oh, you know what? All in all, not so bad. He will absolutely be fine. He's not going to die. He's thriving, actually. Um, put that back in there. So I'm not too worried. Have I just wobbled? Oh, you know what it is? I prided myself, right, on still keeping the baby leaves, but I've snapped it in my process of pulling this out. That's really sad because look how, look how long my tie has held onto its leaves. <sighs> I love my feed. I really love my feed. That's what it's been fed with, by the way. And it's growing really quickly. I can't remember the last time I took a picture of it before I put it on Instagram, but it's grown these last two leaves seriously quickly, at least within a month of each other. Um, it's really, really good, actually. Right, so he's got exactly what I thought he'd have. He's not got any rot. If you see anything, it's actually just it's crap from the pond, to be honest. We've lost a minimal amount of root, like literally just that. I don't think that's a lot, personally. We're doing all right. Oh, God, sorry, that's loud. Let's do a quick clean up, can we? Oh God, see honestly. How did I ever used to be remotely aesthetic when I was potting stuff, but I, honestly, I, I do not know these things. So I'm gonna do that there. Honestly, he's looking great. He's looking really good. What a great root system. And he, he's ready, you know what I'm saying? He's thriving. He's ready, he's ready for this shit. If anything happens to this plant, I'm gonna be so upset. Right, so we have this bad boy and it's gonna get all minging now, but never mind. It is a dirty pot, but it, it's fine. So this little cherub, I want to know where to put it. And I actually think, again, these pots do have, I hope you can see that it's got three holes there and this does sort of fit in. And I'm actually thinking, let's put it near the watering thing because if I put it in another one, it could wobble, right? I don't know if you can understand what I mean. If I put it here, it could wobble, even though the watering thing would be the front and blah, blah, blah. If I actually put it in one of these, this will keep that in place. And I actually think that's better. So I'm going to do that because I just think that's the obvious answer. So if I keep it there, I have to worry about it when I'm potting it. It's just going to stay there. Now it does need to be... Right, if I lean it back, it's going to have a lean on. Is that terrible? You see what I'm saying? If I lean it back, it's going to do that. I'll try and keep it upright, but generally I think that's more more stable. It'll certainly have something to push against when the weight of the plant starts taking its toll because I... I, I assume this plant's going to permanently live on here, and if I need to put another one in, I will. Otherwise, I'll just let it do its thing, and this can stabilize the base when it gets big and heavy. I don't know, guys. This could be a terrible idea. I'm completely open to that idea of it, but we'll see. Right, my pawn, I have to pull from here. Hang on. Right, luckily, I've got a big scoop. So it should be all right. Oh, it's all new and white and pretty. Right, I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom. Da, da, da. Oh God, this is, it's not logistically sound. I'll give it that. Can I put a little bit behind that? I love these, by the way. I've been scooping pon out with these and uh, it's basically a horse feed scoop and it's so strong. Oh, honestly, the equestrians have got this shit figured out. They really have. Right. Oh wow. You know what? I'm pleased I tried to repot this today because quite honestly, Oh no, quite honestly, it, it is in need and this pot is it's probably just the right size, if not potentially small soon, if that makes any sense. Sorry, I put this in wrong and now I'm having to put my fingers in the uh, 
the little moss pole hole. Right, we'll try that again, shall we? Because I tried to pour in behind it and it's just pushed it out. Note to self, don't do that. So, that's that. Before I even attempt to pick this up, I know what I want to do. I want to tape it to the pole while I do my shit. Now, I don't have any more of that lovely Velcro stuff. Very annoyed about that. Very annoyed about that. But we're going to go with our shitty string. So we're going to do that. Is it dark in here? Is it just me? No, it's fine. It's because it's nighttime and I'm not used to it. So let's just cut a couple off. I don't care how long they are because just keep them in place. And I could probably replace it with nice tape at some point. So let's have a look. You might not see any of this. I don't know. I will try my best, guys. Right, so this is this is always a problem, isn't it? When your plant's sort of grown backwards, when you put it on a pole, it's kind of like, well, am I now going to have to do that and force it forward? I think the answer should be yes. So it might look a bit odd, but I actually think it's it should probably look like that. So I'm going to do that. That aerial root is in the round place. That needs to go down. Oh lord, this isn't this isn't great. This uh, I will say that. Let's just try and tie it on without being too harsh, because the string is quite thin and it will exert quite a lot of pressure on it. So it's not ideal. If I had any sense, I probably would have removed one of them. But never mind. So that's probably good enough to hold it. Maybe I think it's not bad. That sorry, I know you probably can't see me, but it, this is very difficult. Um, it could go lower. Could actually go a bit lower into the pot, but not that low. Not that low. I think it can only go about there. God, guys, honestly, this isn't far from needing repotted again. It's actually a little bit ridiculous. However, it's at a good size for it to not die. So we'll keep it like that. It's just going to have to grow like that, I think. And just, it is what it is. Like, I can't really give it much more than that, I don't think. So if I hold on to that. Oh, put in what I've got. That would help. And then hand scoop it like this. Love it. Just pad that round a bit. Get it in there. And that lovely pond. Oh, there's so much root. I haven't even used much pond. And then another one. I don't want to fill it to the top. I like a bit of clearance on it. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. It's just, there's not a lot I can do about this, you know. Like, sorry, that I have to just put it here while I figure out, figure myself out, you know, figure out the vibe. Can I tie this again? Because it is actually doing my head in a little bit now. There. I have to just gently tie that. Now, I'm not expecting it to necessarily cling to this, although it is a Monstera. Maybe I should expect it to cling to this. I don't know. But we shall see, guys. We shall see. I don't really have too much of an expectation all round. I don't know. Normally when I've had large form, I've kind of bought them large, if I'm completely honest with you. I'm aware of how they grow, obviously, but God, the last time I grew a large out from a tiny cutting would probably be, you can't see it because I've had to cut him right down because he reverted. There, there is a large form in that corner that was uh, Monsteria Aurea large form. Um, I've lobbed his head off. He's actually sat over here in a bucket. Hang on, let me see if I can show you. Two secs. Let me just move him while I make my point. Hang on, because this is kind of ridiculous. don't know if I can lift him, actually, if he's got out a bit of water in him. Yeah, I can. I didn't want to get rid of him when I cut his big reverted head off. So I just kept him like this. <laughs> so that's him. I will now remove him and put him back where he lived because he's doing all right in here, in this little corner. So yeah, he was large form, uh, yellow. But I still have plenty of him. I've just sort of cut his head off and I'm waiting for him to do something, but it's not an urgent need. So in terms of this guy, obviously this was always going to be a quick one. He's kind of repotted now and I've, I've mm, why is, hang on, sorry, distracted because I've got a root that's growing vertically upwards and I'd rather not, you know, it's grown out of the soil. I might just have to, that might just have to be its vibe. Might have to die off the tips literally going ooh, out the top. That's kind of him. I can't really do much better for him. Um, he is who he is, you know? Who am I to, to ruin his vibe? I've got those pebbles in the self-watering slots and I hate that. I hate that so much. Get it out. Sorry, this is wobbling, by the way, just because of where it's sat. It's not very sturdy. So that's kind of him. He doesn't even look like he shouldn't be in that pot. So that's a good, good time all around. But I'm not loving the, the way in which I've tied him. Can I just momentarily get rid of this because it is actually annoying the hell out of me. Just because I want to see if I can just maybe tie that better because that's tied quite crap. It's obviously because I'm scared of exerting loads of pressure on the merry stem, but as a result, it's not really sticking. So let me just stand up a moment and do this. This is a little bit better. Gotta be cruel to be kind, you know, with these plants. You really do. They think they know what's best for them. 
They don't. Right, that's better. That's basically... <laughs> Oh, bless. That's basically him. That's the big boy. And he's looking basically the same as he was, but now he's repotted. So hopefully, I'm not expecting a single problem with him, because I'm going to water him with this. I'll do it when I get home, because I need to put him in the car, and don't really want him to have water everywhere. But he'll be watered yet again when I get home. I'll water the whole thing through, and he's quite cute. So, I'm now going to switch a roux, move him, bosh, and he can go here and hopefully look like super cute and shit. I don't know. I don't know how he looks. And then we will deal with him. So to do that, I have to get this little thing back up, aren't I? I do think. Oh, can I just pour that out? Yeah, boy. I'll just pour that. Oh my goodness. Let me check the time. Can you see what I'm on about with my hair? Yeah. So look how cold toned this is. It's basically purple. And I'm telling you now, I have used this toner for years and you have never seen me with purple hair on camera. But uh, that's the rest of it. The rest of it is toned down. So I get it under the lights. Hey. The rest of it is toned down. It's just this is a problem. Any hairdressers that want to help out, feel free. Um, I literally planned on washing the top a bit because my hair rejects color really quickly. If anyone wants to know my hair background, just rejects it straight up. Um, so it's not very good at taking in dark colors. It's very good at lifting. So my plan was to just sort of wash it let this come out because my hair will re it will reject it honestly i'm not gonna have purple hair for more than maybe another wash but then i was going to just add some more toner literally the crown that doesn't have extensions in it just pull that up keep it out of the way and only tone the extensions and go over it again it's a 916 so it shouldn't get lower than a nine right <laughs> um so it should be fine I don't know, guys. I don't know. Literally never had a problem with that. Right, anyway. So, uh, we will take him out of here because this is just for ornamental purposes. We'll take him out. We will put this down here because I think anything that isn't this is going to be an upgrade. So, let me just take the lecker off real quick because no one cares. Ooh, nearly kicked that over. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Right. Um, hang on a minute. Because... This, guys, is a plant pot that I can cut, so I'm going to try and cut it. Um, I heard a bird tweeting and it's lying to me. It's lying to me because it's probably like 7 o'clock at night now. I should be at home with my cats. But I've been so behind on everything, guys. And honestly, I do apologize for that. I want to get back to juicy content and I, there is there is plans there. It's just that I just can't do anything about it. And it's just one of those things when you run a business, it has to come first. So plus I've got two and it's a nightmare. So I, I honestly, I do apologize for that. I know most of you don't mind, but you know. So anyway, right. This, you might be able to see that this is quite dark. The roots are quite dark. Now, there's nothing actually wrong with it, I don't think. I suspect it's actually like a bit of algae. I do actually get... <coughs> That may be coughing a reason. I do actually get a little bit of algae building up in the bottom of the trays. And if you can tend to see it, it, it is what it is. There's lights on it. There's plenty airflow, shit like that. It, it's not ideal. It's not ideal, but it happens. But it's fine because they get cleaned out as much as I can clean them out, as often as I can clean them out. But I think that's what it is because this has grown out of the pot. It's grown through the holes in the pot and it's just grown along the bottom. But it'll be all right. So I'll take off the last couple of bits of lecker because we don't need them, you know. But yeah, I'm not worried about this at all. That looks like a bit of old rot, but it's sold. It's actually just the, the sheath. Is there even a, a root to go with it? No, it's just sheath. So that's fun. So all of this, yeah, sheath. No no uh, root inside it. It's completely gone. And that's definitely algae. I can see the green on it. Yeah, I'm good to go with this. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do the same shit again. So I'll put him there very gently. I wasn't going to take him back to my house, but I think I will. When I told you guys a few weeks ago that I was on a Monstera kick, boy, did I mean it. Boy, did I mean it. Oh, speaking of which, actually, it is UK only, but I do actually have a couple. I think mean, there's two on the side. They might have sold by the time you get to them. So um, Monstera Brazil common form. There's two of those. The rest are coming. They've actually got shoots, so they'll not be long before they get a leaf. So another few weeks, maybe, if that. Um, I've put a few little bits on the website. So if you want to take a look, take a look. Oh, you know what it is? I've never looked at an Elho um, insert and a pot with the water at the water line without a plant in it. I know that sounds really weird, but I actually can see where the water line goes and I didn't actually know where the water line went. So cool, I get it now. Right, I'm now just trying to pick out. There are, oh look here, hang on. Yeah, I want these roots gone really. I'm very sad we lost those, but it happens, doesn't it? It just happens. Can I, ooh, I don't really wanna push that. I think my nail's gonna suffer. Just got loads of crap in the little, 
fits in the bottom. Obviously, again, I'm not pulling this. Maybe I can leave this one unpulled and then keep that one pulled and then just see what happens. What am I doing that for? Don't do that, Kaylee. Don't do that. Right, that will do. That will be fine because it is clean. This one, this one got cleaned quite well. Um, keen eye amongst you will notice that I don't care about keeping the stickers on because honestly, they're a nightmare to pull off. I wish they wouldn't do it. I really wish they wouldn't do it. Petition to not have stickers on this sort of thing. I've nearly got it out. I'm only doing this, guys. It might seem like I'm giving more of a shit about the plants in my house, but I don't, I can't do the same admin on the plants in the house that I can here. Here, if there's a problem, I'm on concrete. I can get water everywhere. I can get mess everywhere. I just whop it out and do it. My house has the most beautiful, I keep banging on about it, the most beautiful wood floor, right? It is gorgeous. It cost me an arm and leg to put in, but I put it in the house because one, the wood is literally an inch thick and it insulates the house really well. So that's good. It saved me some money in the long term. And two, I thought it would add value to the house if I ever sold it. So I thought, okay, since it's the shell, I'll spend the money. You know what I mean? Um, so I have a beautiful floor and I just don't want to do anything to ruin it. So basically, if I want to do messy stuff, I have to bring everything here. That's why we're doing it. So I'm not like just lazy with the plants at home or sorry, lazy with the plants here or whatever. So it's actually kind of the opposite. I can't be proactive. Right. So this one's going to be super easy. Let me get my scoop. It's really hard to do. Scoop a bit of the old pond, put it in here, line the bottom, love that. Bare minimum I can put in, let's get some more of this, oh no. Oh, there's a rogue ball of lecker, I'm not having that in my pond, go away. Right, get that, put this in, oh that's kind of, yeah, yeah that's gonna get, that's gonna grow through quite quickly. I've been a nasty girl. Singing that all week, you know, honestly, it's really bad. Some of the memes, some of the memes. Oh, shit, man. So funny. Right, hang on. Oh, no. Why is this happening to me? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, well. Now, hmm. I don't know how to plant this. <laughs> because I know it's sort of... I know I'm probably not going to put a pole on yet anyway. So I know it's going to sort of grow backwards because it already is. So that makes me think I should plant it closer to the front. And then it will have room to go backwards. You feel me? I don't know. So I'm going to put it there because that's... I mean, it's not the front, but it, there's a root that's hitting off the front. That's what the problem is. So I'm just going to sort of put it there and we'll just plant it that way. La 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 la. The roots aren't actually filling the whole thing. They're filling one side. And I can only hope that the monstera is clever enough to find space where there is no root and fill it. Otherwise, this is not going to last very long at all. Right, I need more in than that. Oh, it's not ideal, this. It's quite bouncy as well because there is a lot of root in the pot. Um, I'm not going to get that any lower. Oh, I don't like this, you know. This is not as successful as the other one. Probably because... I could go bigger, but I don't really, I think I've only got another one this size that I've just put that big tie up into and I might need it. <sighs> Experts among you may suggest to just put it into the big one now, but I don't know what I want in that other big one yet. So let's just, let's just chill for a bit, yeah? Let's just chill. I like this one. It's quite cute. It's not maybe the best one it's actually been cut from, but I like it enough. Oh, that's quite a lot in there. Well, I mean, that is as like as stable as it's going to be. It's just not that stable. Can I put, you know, I, you know what I want to do. You know, I love doing it. A little steak in because I never know what else I can do to, to hold this sort of stuff. But if I just put a little steak in, then maybe life will be okay. Let's try this one. It doesn't have to look the, the prettiest, although it, it would help. I realize this, guys. It would help. It would help if I actually did do something aesthetic for once. Um, love this. I don't need that now. Let's just try and cut this sort of in the middle. Ah! Oh, that's going to blister. You ever done that and you grip something and it nips your skin and you're like, oh, oh, that's sexy. Right. Anyway, moving on. So let's just... If I just do that... <sighs> I'm going to put them on either side and then I'm going to try and tie around them and just, just help it, you know, just, just help it out. What I can do is, oh look, I've watered my new plant. Love that. I will actually pour a little bit through it though because it's dry pond and I, I don't know for sure that it'll go up as quick as I need it to, as quick as I need to saturate the plant. But if I just tie it here, then I at least sort of know that it's not going to wobble itself into oblivion, if that makes sense. And over time, I think it will just grow back and sort of stand up, stand up, I can't speak, stand itself upright. So that is actually 
That's a lot more sturdy now, and I've, I've not really done anything to earn that, but hey ho. I'll just put this out of the way. Get him there. I'll just go plop. I had some blue roll here, because why not? Just to make things a little bit more clean. I'm very annoyed about this little leaf, guys. I won't lie to you. I'm really annoyed about it because I prided myself on not losing a leaf and I haven't in terms of like growth and leaf drop and stuff. I haven't. I haven't lost it. But now I have because I knocked it off. That is something the nurture system is very good at doing, by the way. Sorry, I'm literally swamped. It's very good at preventing things like leaf drop when you repot things, when you get things in from being shaped, stuff like that. It's very, very good for it. Um, oh, I was laughing this morning. What did somebody say? Was it on an Amazon review? It just said it was ridiculous. <laughs> I love that. Honestly, some of the Amazon reviews are really, really good. I suggest you read them. I absolutely love those. It's so funny. Right, so little, little wipey wipey. So the pond you saw me use, again, unofficial. I promise you will get the launch video. Like I said, I'm just waiting on a product, but it's in, the stuff that's in here, sorry, is my pond. It was in this one when I potted this one last week, whenever it was. It's obviously in this white monster, which hopefully does keep on growing and being nice and not die. I mean, this, it seems to be okay so far. Let's not jinx it. So it's in that as well. And it's now in my pride and joy, my Thai constellation, which I'll, I'll, a moment to talk about this Thai actually, because I was a little bit upset when this happened. Now, a lot of people might actually like that and be thinking, oh my God, look how variegated it is. When I think of a tie, guys, I don't, I don't think of that. My perfect tie constellation, right? Let me know in the comments if you agree, but it's actually shit like this. That for me is a fantastic example of a tie constellation. When I want a tie that on every leaf, that's what I want. I actually don't want this at all. If I could click my fingers and change how this looked, I'd get rid of this leaf and put another one of those out. And luckily, I think, I hope, the next leaf isn't going to do this again because Lotus, look, it's done it there as well. I would be a little bit disappointed if that happened. I will not lie to you. I would not be a happy camper if that happened. We'll see. And you can keep up to date with that on Instagram. But I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. So far, from what I can see from the, the merry stem isn't like visible yet, but the petioles there, it doesn't look too cream. Looks all right. So mm. now conversely, I know you're going to say, well, what the hell? What the hell with white monster then? And I agree with you. I still don't know what I think of white monster. And honestly, the reason this is not on a poll is because I don't care as much. And I want to see how this progresses. Now you can sort of see on it that it's done a lot of different shit. It's done a lot of different shit. This is sort of like a minty green. It's all just a weird vibe. I, do, I still don't understand this plant, but I want to understand it. So I want to grow it. Um, and I will also keep you up to date with this as well. Is this leaning a lot? This looks really floppy. Okay, guys, it's not floppy. <laughs> it's not floppy. What's happened is I've put this upright, okay? I've put this upright and normally it would grow that way. So normally it would grow to the point where it looks like that. It will, you know, technical term, really scientific, but it will you know? You know what I mean? We've all been there. So I'm sure it's fine. So it probably looks like it's going to die. It's not. It's the way I've tilted it. This one's not as bad, actually, but I have been trying to keep it quite nice. I don't know why this has happened. It's gone a bit janky. It just did that when it got to my house. I was quite annoyed about it, actually. Like, it's not just stayed upright. It's just gone, no. So basically, that was me potting up two very defiant Monstera. I'm now going to, I'm not even going to tidy up, guys. I'm not even going to tidy up. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to turn the lights off and I'm going to go home. And I'm going to put these in my car and I'm going to water that when I get home. I'm going to put a teeny bit of water on top of that and all will be well. So thank you for watching this week's video. This is more about the plants, so it's less normal chat. I don't think we've even chatted about anything. So there you go. Uh, I will see you in the next video. I, as of filming this today, don't know what it's going to be because I need to film again in a few days. And I've got nothing planned yet, so we will see. Thank you so much for your patience. If you'd like to support me, again, merch is down below. If you, not even a case of support, if you'd like to try my wonderful products, then the link for that is down below as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will love you and leave you. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I want to say a prayer for my hair. Damn.